just plumbed our column, so why are we talking about plumb again? Plumb goes a lot further than just making sure your columns are straight on the leveling nut of your anchor bolt embeds. Plumb is about making sure your building is straight and square in general, and your building won't straighten up and plumb up itself. Yes, we have our columns and beams for our box and fill in, but that doesn't mean that the building is straight and square. For example, you have set your sequence and you go to throw a large spirit level or transit on the bottom of your column for a quick check. Yeah, it seems relatively straight. Maybe the bubble is just off to one side from the center ever so slightly, so no big deal, right? Wrong. If you go to the top of your column and put your large spirit level or transit on the column, Hey, just wanted to stop you and tell you thank you for watching. It really does support us when you watch. Take the extra step, like and subscribe this video and or follow us. It would really help us out. Carry on, enjoy the rest of the video. Check us out at workerefficiency.com for more videos just like this. See ya. You may see the leveling bubble clear off to one side or your sensor is reading that the column is off three or four inches from plumb or leaning to one side. Where it is ever so slightly out of plumb at the bottom, its true colors shine in sorts at the top where you can see drastic shifts in plumb. Think of the framework of a cube. The cube could potentially twist, cant, or shift from side to side with a little pressure. However, if you add some X bracing to your cube framework on all sides, that cube will solidify to its cube form, becoming a solid, straight, square, or better yet, plumb cube. In essence, this is plumbing when it comes to steel erection. We are going to add these X bracings to the skeletal steel structure frame in order to pull the structure straight, square, and plumb. Plumbing in steel erection is where we adjust and fix for these shifting discrepancies that can occur. These discrepancies can be caused by a slew of things, whether minor distortion in the beam or column itself, incorrectly set anchor bolt embeds, and more. Whatever the discrepancy, we need to make sure that everything is always straight, square, when you are erecting a structure. This isn't one of those things where everything has been installed wrong, and you should not freak out here. No, plumbing is a process in steel erection. This happens, and it is here where we plumb or square up our building straight to correct for this. Typically, after boxing and filling has happened for the height of our columns, essentially helping us not to have a crooked, skewed, canted, or off square building. It's important to emphasize that your greenhorn isn't just going to go out and plumb a four story building by themselves. No, there's some mastering artisanship and skill here. It takes time to get good at it, but this is where we are going to give you a foundation for understanding this concept as it is really important. Nobody wants a crooked building, so how do we plumb our building? Plumbing structures all start with our columns. Our columns are what we need to pull straight so that our structure is plumb. And to do this, we typically utilize wire rope cables and turnbuckles. Steel rod is also used. Let's talk through a one story structure example and build from there. Let's say our entire structure is structural steel. We have four by three rows of columns that have been boxed and filled. We are going to plumb our structure by attaching cable and turnbuckles from the top of one column to the bottom of an adjacent column and vice versa for the other side, creating X bracing. We are then going to pull those columns straight. There are many ways to approach this, but let's X brace for our north face. X bracing and pulling these columns plumb will ensure that our north face is plumb and square. Plumbing our columns at our south will ensure our south side of the building is plumb and square. Now, let's plumb our west side of our structure. We are going to add X bracing between the middle columns here to ensure that our west face is pulled plumb. It's technically all connected by beam, so we don't necessarily need to do every bay or section. Just pulling the middle will pull our entire side square. We'll do the same thing for our east face. That covers plumb for just about all our perimeter columns. But we have two columns here in the middle that also need to align to plumb. We are going to add X bracing. Instead of going from the top of column to the bottom of column, we're going to go to top of column to top of column, creating X bracing in the roof essentially. This pulls our roof face into plumb. Okay, that was a super rough idea for plumb in a single story structure, but what about a six story structure steel building? Now, this is where things can get kind of confusing. A general rule of thumb for a plumb, real poetic there, is this. You plumb for the current length of the specific column assembly. Let me explain. Let's say our columns span the height for three stories, and then we are going to splice or attach another column on top of our first column to get us to six stories. We are not going to plumb for every floor of our structure here. We are going to wait and plumb our structure for the first time once we hit our third story. Why? Because our columns are three stories tall. If the top of our columns are straight and plumb, we can be sure that the rest of our column is straight and plumb. 
Once our first round of columns are plumb, we will then splice our second layer of columns to get us to six stories. We will then plumb our second layer of columns. We are not necessarily plumbing for every floor, and that's what we are trying to get at here. It really depends on the length of your columns. If you plumb for every floor, you could potentially be putting this S shape into your columns. If you only boxed and filled for your first floor up to this point, you could make it extremely difficult to connect steel for your second and third floors after that, fighting and pulling your steel. Plumb is very situational to the structure or the project at hand. Even the example of our office building. Our office building is a tilt-up steel structure, meaning it has concrete tilt-up panel walls at its perimeter, and then we have steel columns throughout the center of our structure. The panel walls span four stories and are lifted and set by the concrete contractor. Those panel walls will need to be set to plumb by the concrete contractor as well. Since our concrete panel walls are plumb, we already have this guide for our steel as we erect. Having four walls around our steel already plumb, it almost contains and keeps our steel plumb. However, that is not a hall pass to not plumb your structure. Yeah, you have a guide at your perimeter, hopefully, if it really is plumb, but you still need to plumb your columns and structure in general. Let's talk this through. Let's say you plumb your sequence. We take a transit laser to check plumb, and we are in fact off two or three inches in a column that has been boxed and filled, connecting to the panel wall. Well, then it's time to do some order of operations to see what the issue is. Is the beam connecting to the panel wall and the column too long? Is the welded plate at the embed too long or wrong? Is there something wrong at the welds? Is the panel wall wrong and not plumb? Is the anchor bolt embed set incorrectly? There are several reasons for why a column could be off and it is your job as an iron worker to solve the problem. Do you want to get paid more? Then you need to solve problems day in and day out. If it was an erection error, then work to get it fixed. If it was another trade issue, then pass on the information for the error so they can work to fix it. At the end of the day, our structure must be plumb no matter the type, style, aesthetic of the building. It doesn't matter. It needs to be plumb. And this is a process in erection. Plumb your buildings, learn the tricks, and master the process. Thank you again for watching. We appreciate it. Like and subscribe, follow and share this video. It really does help us out. If you want to learn more, check out www.workerefficiency.com to find out more about our training courses and the app that is coming out soon and it will blow your mind.